The dream of making money or earning a full-time living online. It seems that everybody in recent years have become very excited and they're all trying to achieve this goal. But so few actually achieve the milestone. So in this video, I want to break down what you need to avoid doing in order to start earning some real money with your own online business. The very first thing to avoid is something called shiny object syndrome. Now at its core, shiny object syndrome is the tendency to distract yourself from your current project or business in order to chase something new which seems more exciting. And this mistake is something that I hear new business owners make over and over again, sometimes without even realizing it. For example, you search the internet for a new business to start and you find out that selling on Amazon is a great opportunity. Happy days. So you will then spend the next few days, weeks, maybe even months learning as much as you can about how it all works and then suddenly you'll stumble across a 20 year old Lamborghini owner who tells you that affiliate marketing is the way to go. So you forget about Amazon and you start to focus more on affiliate marketing and then after another month of affiliate marketing research you hear someone else talk about how they made their first million selling online courses. And before you know it, it's been six months and you've spent all of your time jumping from Amazon to Shopify to affiliate marketing to online courses to creating a podcast and so on and so on and so on but you've actually made no progress with any of them. Essentially, what you've done is hop from one idea to another, investing your time and your money, but you've built nothing. So my advice to avoid falling into this trap is quite simple, yet it's very effective. Do your own research, decide on a business model that you would like to build, and then stick with it until it works. No changes, no jumping ship, no distractions, because if you try to focus on multiple things at once, what you'll find is that you end up being burnt out and frustrated because you will never end up making any real progress with anything. Pick a business, create a goal, and remain laser focused on that goal until you achieve it. And only then can you start to think about setting new goals or trying new ideas. Now, if you would like my help with choosing your own business and building it up to be profitable, then you can check out my private online coaching program. I will leave a link for that down in the description down below for you to check out if you are interested. Now, moving on from shiny object syndrome, another common mistake that new business owners make is refusing outside help. Now, this can be for multiple reasons. It could be that you are too proud or too shy to admit that you need help. It could be your ego telling you that you don't need help and that you're smart enough to figure it out all by yourself. It could be that you simply don't have the budget to pay someone for some outside consultations or training with an expert. Now for me personally over the years I have fallen into all of those categories that I've just mentioned but the amount of times that I've learned something new that has helped me to get out of a tough situation from working with someone else who knows much more about a given topic than myself, I've lost count of the amount of times that that's happened. Now, if it's a budget restriction that's stopping you, then I recommend that you start to look for a new way in order to create more of a budget because you will need to invest both your time and your money into any business idea in order to get it up and running. If it's your ego or your pride that's stopping you from asking for help, then what you need to understand is that no one is perfect. Not you, not me, no one. And to think that you are above asking for help from someone else is only ever going to slow down and make any progress that you want to make in your business extremely slow for you. At the end of the day, we are only human and there is nothing wrong with asking somebody else for help or advice. So do not let your ego or your pride get in the way of you building your own successful business. And the final piece of advice that I have for you is to not give up when you fail. Now I am telling you now, before you've even started, that you are going to fail sometimes. You are going to make mistakes. That is the reality of building a successful business. Not everything will work out the first time around. And so many talented and motivated people give in once they hit a roadblock. And this is a mistake. Now, if you speak to any successful business owner in the world, every single one of them will have at some point on their journey failed at something. And the reason that they are a successful business owner is because they didn't let that single failure stop them. Nobody wants to fail. Nobody wants to make a mistake and feel stupid, but it's completely normal. We all do it. The trick is to accept that failure is part of your growth. In order for you to grow, you'll make mistakes, you will then learn from those mistakes and you'll make adjustments and then you will move on. And it's that cycle that leads you to becoming successful and building your own successful and profitable business. Now that is a wrap for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button for me and be sure to subscribe for my future content. Until next time, take care.